Hey, welcome back to the Cub. Today I am at CRG walking another high line. I believe this is the 120 meter line behind me. I don't know if you can see it too well, but it spans from here all the way over to there, starting at this tree over here. I'm super excited to get on it. I've yet to be on this line and it looks like it's very well rigged. So I'm gonna catch you guys when I get on the line. So I just got off the high line, and if you can tell by the little time lapse I had, I did not do very well. Um, it was super difficult, and I just I just couldn't stand. And um, that's kind of just a reality when it comes to high lining, and I know every high liner kind of faces it. It's just the the failure after failure after failure after failure and uh, it's kind of just sucks you just you can't stand and no matter how hard you try you get up on your heel you get in your sit start you try to find balance and then you just you just jump and pray that you you, you land on both feet and and start walking and maybe you stand up and get half a step in before you slip but uh, you never get like maybe more than three steps on the line. And um, I think that's just the reality of highlining. It's just hard. I mean, that line was definitely longer than I've ever walked, but uh, it's part of the sport, I think. And I mean, as I become more of an older highliner, a more experienced highliner, the more I realize that like, that's kind of the best part of highlining when you're like so pumped up and you just keep going after it and you just keep trying. And even if you keep failing, like you still have that little bit of hope from that one step you took extra or the, you know, the, the little bit of balance you find. I know a lot of Highliners understand that, that, that quick second of absolute peace on the line where everything sits still, that little bit of hope keeps you going um but I, I can't say i'm disappointed with today it was super hard but i put in a ton of effort and i kept going and i didn't give up until i was just pumped out of my mind and could barely untie my figure eight so i mean obviously i would have loved to walk the whole line and sent a new like personal record but that's not necessarily a reality you can have every day and it's not a realistic outlook on highlining. So, I mean, I'm kind of huffing and puffing right now as we're going out of this, this hike, but I'm still absolutely stoked. And, and the best thing is now I know I got a best, uh, a new project. I got something I know I need to work on, on a line I don't feel comfortable on. And it gives me, uh, keeps me stoked to keep coming back, back out on a line. Cause if it was super easy, it wouldn't be fun. So I hope there's a little bit of inspiration coming out of that um, for any new highliners or even old highliners to, to keep pushing and uh, keep working at it because it's worth it. And the feeling after you cross a line you've been working on for nearly a year is just, it's the best feeling ever. So, um, it's still a great day. Still a lot of fun. It's always a great day when you're outside on the line. So, I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, hard work pays off and not giving up is gonna make you greater at highlining. So, 
Have a good one.